suicide. A new report released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shows suicide is on the rise. 17's Mary Kate Paquette here now with more. Mary Kate. From 1999 to 2016, suicide rates have increased more than 30% in half of our nation's states. According to the report, suicide is the 10th leading cause of, deaths, of death nationally and just one of three leading causes that's going up. In 2016, there were nearly 45,000 suicides. Middle-aged adults ages 45 to to 64 had the largest increase. According to Bill Walker, director of Kern Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, someone dies from suicide every 16 minutes. One of the statistical things we know is that one of the best things we can do to reduce suicide is when we are concerned about people is to continue to wrap around loved ones around them. Not necessarily professionals. Professionals have a role, but often it's the loved ones and their caring that brings the person back. Walker says the highest risk group is the, is the youth because of the changes and stress they're constantly going through. He particularly emphasized veterans coming back from war who are under tremendous stress. Walker adds people under the influence of alcohol or medication are some of the highest at risk. He says the best thing to do if you think someone you know is suicidal is have a conversation with them about how they are doing. Some signs to watch for in someone who may be thinking about suicide include changes in behavior, not eating, saying goodbye to friends, and giving away belongings. If you ever feel like you need to talk anyone through a tough situation or talk about a tough situation, Kern's Crisis Hotline is a 24-hour line for help. You can call that hotline anytime at 1-800-991-5272. If the situation is an emergency, call 911. Mary Kay Paquette, 17 News.